Hey and welcome to a quick vid on uh, changing your cleats. So you can see I've got my Look Kyo blade, well my Look Kyo cleats here, sorry, and they're quite worn on the like right hand side. This one's not too bad, but this one is the main one I clip in and out. And you can see if it's worn just there, which means that it's quite easy just to sort of slide out. And if you're doing big sprint efforts, that's not great. Sorry, I'm going to this back a bit. Right, there you can see. So got my little Look Kyo blades and a slip. All that bollocks. So yeah, let's open them up. What do you get? Get some bolts. Keep the bolts because you might lose them, even though you have your other ones. Um, right. And we've got pedals. I always go for a bit of float, two and a half degrees. That's what most most people say. But you better say it's better. Right. Your position for your cleat is normally quite important, so you don't want to mess it up. All right. So first, we have to get some sellotape. I find using the sellotape method is the best. Some people use pens, but I find the pen, if you change your cleat position, it can be really annoying. And also, I don't know, just prefer something that's not permanent. Anyway, you can see my shoes are ruined. I had a little hike up the Guilibier um, in them when I was trying to watch the tour. That was not to be recommended with cycling shoes. So I normally mark the top and the bottom. Um, need to make sure that you do actually get the bottom. Specialized have a little thing, so it's like number five and number five on both of these. I have them normally relatively um, centered, uh, like there's not too much crossover. I normally like, also like to do the diagonals, uh, so you can see. Start to do the diagonals on this one, down the top, the bottom, and the diagonal there. So we'll just finish off doing the diagonal here. Um, I'll try and do it so you can see. And then we'll move on to the next sheet. Now, cleat position, I find, is very important to me. I really can feel the difference on the cleats, not 100% perfect. So I always like to make sure that I do get it perfect in order to get the old cleat position in the right place. So you can see both of these are now sellotaped up, so it's now time to unscrew them. Alright, so these are done now. Sorry, rolling around. Uh, right around. These are done. Now we just need the new cleats. So put these old cleats. Show you the difference. You can see the little this thing at the bottom it helps to keep your feet in position. This thing at the top is just a nice to walk on, but doesn't really make a difference. And I'm not sure what that does, but it has it has some impact on the cleat. So line it up. This bit is the most important part. Sorry, my time's over. Sorry, I hope this is visible. So you need to try and line it up so that the cleat position is dead on. Um, straight. Sorry, this is some very shaky camera footage, but I hope, hope you can see that right. So that the cleat position is okay. Now, normally what I do... Sorry. Normally what I do first is I just tighten them in a little bit um, just so that there's a bit more like support. Sorry, what am I on about? This is the wrong way around. Sorry, I'm having a nightmare. So anyway, you put them around, make sure they're lined up, which is not too hard because when you have the sellotape, you, it's sort of a, it's a physical barrier. So I have my cleats as far back as they go pretty much. Um, so I put these in, yeah, screw them up a little bit and then you can tighten them. So anyway, we're just about to screw them up now. So make sure, for me I know they're all the way forward, a little bit of push to the right, 
and you can see they're lining up pretty much perfect. So now I just need to screw them in and they should be okay. Alright, both cleats are done. There we go. Beautiful. Made sure that they're in the right position. Uh, cheers for watching. Hope this helped. Um, see you in the road. Bye.